friends, so today I went to go pick up my All I Know Now copy that I'd pre-ordered. Um, so I went into Durham to go pick that up and I got a little bit carried away. Um, so I have two very exciting bags. One super drug bag and one big fat water stones bag. I got massively carried away. Oops. Oh well. Um, but I'm going to do them in two separate videos. So I'm going to start off with my exciting water stones bag and then I'll do another video with my exciting super drug bag in. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So firstly, I went to go pick up my pre-ordered copy of All I Know Now. Um, so yeah, look at it. I've been waiting for this book for forevers and I used to watch Carrie's videos forever ago and I always used to think like when I read her blog and stuff like that she'd be amazing at writing a book and I'd totally read it. Um, when I used to write for like English and stuff like this I write in quite a similar style. Uh, my mum when I used to write letters to my gran and my brother when I was at uni my mum always used to say I wrote how I talked and I think Carrie does exactly the same. Um, so I've only just picked this up. And as soon as I picked it up, I went straight to a Starbucks and sat down and I read, I read the, all the inside bits and I read, I read the prologue and the overture, um, just while I was in Starbucks drinking hot chocolate because it was raining as well. So I basically just started it and I love it already. One thing I absolutely adore is when you take so it has this cover over the top and then you take it off oh look at it it's so pretty and i love it the fact it has a de the definition of hopeful and then the hopeful sign on the back um when when i was talking to scott about the book he was like oh do you not do you not think you're a bit old for it then if it's like a guide to your teenage years because me and Carrie are actually the same age. She's like two months older than me or something. Um, I'm 22 as well. Um, and obviously this book is sort of her guide to being a teenager. And I was like, no, of course I'm not too old for it. Um, because obviously because we're the same age, we went through the same things at about the same time. So I think I'll be able to relate to her story and her um, adventures and mishaps even more because we are the same age um, and I read when I read the prologue and the overture I was literally like sat in Starbucks giggling away at myself and I was like people are gonna think I'm mental but I don't care genuinely didn't care I loved it it was so much fun and I'm just really excited to read the rest of it because she's such an entertaining wonderful person can't wait bring it on so yeah this is gonna be the next book I finish definitely and then also in Waterstones, I got uh, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, which is on buy one get one half price. At the minute, because I'm trying to save, I do only buy things when they are on offer. So I pre-ordered Carrie's book because if you pre-ordered it, you got it half price. And then obviously if it's in a buy one half price scheme, you know, you feel like you're saving a bit of money. So um, this is about the well about the war it's about a blind little girl and a nazi youth hitler youth hitler youth little boy and i've heard a lot about it it's in the it's part of the waterstones book club um so yeah you can't go wrong um it is on my to be read oh no it's got a scratch on it there's a little scratch in the cover oh well that's a shame, but I'm excited to read this. This should be good. Also in Waterstones, I just read the blurb of this and really liked it. Um, this is called The Three by Sarah Lotz. And again, this was in the buy one, get one half price. Uh, I've never, ever, ever seen this before or heard anything about it. I just read the cover and it got me straight away. It says, Black Thursday. The day that will never be forgotten. The day that four passenger planes crashed at almost exactly the same moment at four different points around the globe. There are only four survivors. Three children who emerge from the wreckage seemingly unhurt, but they are not unchanged. 
and the fourth is Pamela Dear Donald, who lives just long enough to record a voice message on her phone, a message that will change the world. The message is a warning. And I just think that sounds epic, like I don't have a clue anything. I've never heard of her, I've never seen this before. It was just literally like all the light we cannot see was there on the table and this was at the other side of the table and I was just like that seems like a match right there so yeah that's what I got from Waterstones and then there's a lovely little uh, Ox Oxfam uh, bookshop down the road and it's huge it's got like three stories and it's just really nicely organized and wonderful and I could have bought a lot of books from there but I decided to not and to only buy a few and uh, the first one I book I blah, 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 oh. the first bought blah, eh. the first book I bought was a book I already owned and have read but I can't find it I don't know where it's gone I think I've borrowed it to someone and I haven't got it back um, so this is Labyrinth by Kate Moss it was in the summer sale for a pound so I thought oh I've lost my copy I'll just buy another one uh, I've read this before but a long time ago and then Scott's mum bought me the next two books Citadel and something else something we're going with a set so this, the next two books and I thought I can't read them because it was a long time since I read Labyrinth so and then I went to look for Labyrinth and I couldn't find it so I got myself a one pound copy it's a little bit like torn at the front there I think that's why it's a pound but it'll do me my my version of this was in just about the same situation uh, it was this might actually be my copy someone might have put it to a charity shop I don't think so but yeah so I just got that for a pound and then this is a book I've wanted to read forever The Night Circus um, Carrie Hope Fletcher raves about this and lots of other people have raved about this I also love the blurb and the cover look at it it's beautiful it does have a little gifted sticker on it because it's from Oxfam though basically it says the circus arrives without warning no announcement precede it it simply is there when it was not yesterday and that is the night circus I think it sounds brilliant and I got this for 3 99 instead of 7 99 so and literally it's just a little bit worn in the spine and apart from that it is brand spanking new um, this I, I like buying second-hand books I recently bought a book from a charity shop in Barnard Castle, which I should probably have got. Yeah, um, I have it called Graceling. I've wanted to read it for a long time. I don't even know who the author is. Kristen, I think Kristen Cassar. Cassar. Yeah, called Graceling. I've wanted to read it for a very long time. It's sold out on Amazon. You can't get it on Amazon. And then I saw it in the charity shop, so I just thought, oh, and I think it was like one seventy-five for a hardback copy so I got that so I do love shopping for books in second second hand shops and in charity shops and stuff like that because they're always really good bargains um, and they're normally not in that bad of condition they're normally just a little bit they've just look like they've been read once so that is my cheeky little book purchase for today um, so my next video will be the exciting super drug bag so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up and maybe give me a cheeky little subscribe if you fancy that um, again sorry for the iPad quality of the video and the non fanciness or music but my laptop is still dead so yeah it's gonna be iPad videos for the foreseen future I'm afraid um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep making them until I get my iPad sorted. No, until I get my laptop sorted. Yeah. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.